And we pause for a moment of prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Creator and all-compassionate God, send the mantle of your love upon these students as they begin to write a new chapter in their lives. As the story develops, watch them, protect them, and love them. When they're afraid, be like a mother who gives comfort and assurance. When they're challenged, be like a father who gives support and confidence. When they succeed, be like friends who rejoice with them. When they are lost, be like professors and mentors who gently give direction. And when they are hopeful, in love, excited, content, be like family who surround them with best wishes of a good and happy life. Almighty God, although our graduates are leaving us, remind them that they will always be a part of the St. Norbert family. Remind them of our constant love and support. Remind them that they touched our hearts and our lives, and for that we are grateful. And remind our graduates that it's always a good time to come home. We would be remiss not to ask you, Almighty God, also to bless all mothers on this special, special day. We pray these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Father Jay. Please be seated. Wow, we've got a full house. Cardinal George, Bishop Ricken, Mr. Ariema, Father DePoe, Norbertine Fathers, trustees, faculty, administrators, staff, and most especially members of the class of 2012. On behalf of St. Norbert College, let me welcome the graduates and their families, friends and guests who are here to celebrate this joyous occasion. Educators never tire of commencement because it represents such a marvelous combination of accomplishment, enthusiasm, relief, and most important, possibilities. It is the ritual that across the centuries has testified to the fact that what is supposed to happen at a college has happened, that knowledge and experience and life lessons have been transferred from the old to the young, that another enthusiastic class is going forth to carry our values around the world. Commencement not only is a time of celebration, but of tradition. And assuming one of our longstanding tradition holds, quite a few of you are apt to find your way over to Mulva Library today to have your picture taken with our founder, Abbot Pennings, who continues to keep watch over us all from his marble perch there in the skylit entry. That statue of Abbot Pennings was sculpted in 1964. And pretty much ever since, our graduates have made him an unofficial part of their SNC leave-taking. Yet I wonder in that nearly half century of snapshots how many of our grads in their excitement took the time to look at the quotation from the abbot that is carved into the base. Let us love one another. Five words, a sentiment as simple and yet as complicated as it gets. The abbot's motto, of course, is a big part of our legacy. It goes straight to the heart of the Norbertine concept of communio, the value we are most expected to stand for, the one we are uniquely called to represent as citizens of St. Norbert College. When we survey our graduates about what they carried away from their time at St. Norbert College, and it doesn't matter whether they have been away from campus for three years or 30, the one aspect that they virtually all cite is the sense of community they experienced here. We are very gratified by that, as we know it is real. When they are responding to this question, however, many of our alums no doubt have in mind the lasting friendships they forged here, the specific groups and organizations they were a part of, the feeling they had of belonging to something larger than themselves, or the warmth of their overall college experience. And all of those things are important and valuable. 
But community is not necessarily communio. It is easy to feel a sense of community when we're surrounded by people with interests and backgrounds and experiences similar to our own. Communio, on the other hand, means an even deeper commitment to one another. It's a higher calling and a harder one to keep. To truly live communio means creating an environment where all are included and connected. All are welcome. All are part of the fabric of our extended family. And this must be true even when we don't have similar interests or similar backgrounds or don't believe in the same things. In a place of communio, no one is marginalized. No one is the other. To put it in another way, communio is an ideal and ideals are never easy. In reinforcing Christ's fundamental teaching, Abbot Pennings knew well that loving one another is anything but easy. But that's precisely why it's so necessary. It's the effort we owe our God and one another. So my sincere hope is that as you leave St. Norbert College, you take with you not only a strong feeling of community, but a commitment to truly live communio in every aspect of your lives. Graduates of 2012, let me say that I am especially proud of your accomplishments. We arrived here together in the summer of 2008, and I have had the privilege and the pleasure of watching your progress every step of the way. Now we're counting on you to go out there and show the world what a great institution you come from. And wherever life's paths take you, never lose the path that will bring you back here. Stay in touch with St. Norbert College and come back often. We who live and work here count on that unending connection. With your witness, we will find ourselves renewed. And with your support, we will ensure that the next generation also comes to understand what it means to truly love one another. <laughs>